Okay, let's talk about how to make your collage for your sense of place. It's a very easy process. First thing I did is open up the 8x10 template that will be in the resources folder in the server. Uh, the next thing I want to do is get my pictures together, maybe in a folder. Make sure you go through the editing process with those. So I just have three over here that I'm going to work with. You guys will have you know, somewhere from probably five to 10 pictures of your place. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna open up a picture. So notice over here, it is APSD with all the layers. So the first thing you have to do is flatten the image. Next thing you have to do, grab the move tool, drag it up into the template. Okay, yeah, now your picture might be bigger than this. Um, so if it is bigger, or if you want to change the size of this in any way, you can go Command T. So Command T, uh, grab a corner handle, okay, um, and reduce the size of that. Okay. Um, make sure it's all in proportion. I think for you guys, you don't have to press shift. I think if you press shift, it will allow you to distort it. So you don't want to do that. I'm, I'm not sure. I have mine set up, so I press shift. So you're just going to have to figure out how your Photoshop is set up. Okay. So I'm going to leave it around that big. When you're done transforming it, you press return. You could also, when you're in that transformation mode, you could rotate it if you want to do that to your pictures too. So I'll just rotate a little bit, press return, and then move it into position. Just think of this white sheet as your canvas and you're just laying out your cloud collage however you want to. Okay, uh, let's grab the next picture. So I'm gonna open that up in Photoshop. Remember, you're gonna have to flatten that and then grab your move tool and move it up into the template. Okay, um, I'm going to go Command T, reduce the size of that a little bit, and maybe I'll rotate it this way. I'll move it up, press the return key to put that into effect. Um, next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab the last one. Again, open it up in Photoshop. flatten it, move it up and in to the template, and then Command T to transform it. Let's rotate it just a little bit, and maybe make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to press the return key. Okay, you can also overlap these if you want to. So let's say I'm going to overlap both of those. Okay. All right. Um, the other thing I want to show you is um, some people wanted like some color in their uh, collage. And if that's true, all you have to do is grab uh, one of these tools here. So one of the shape tools, I'm going to go rectangle. Let's say I want a rectangle of color here. I would click on it and the color is based upon uh, the stroke and the fill. The stroke is the outline, the fill is the inner color. So I don't want a stroke on this, so I'm going to go here and click the, the no can do button and then go ahead here and maybe um, I'll choose like a blue or something. Okay. And then you can transform like, uh, like you would anything. Press the return key. So I have that block of color. Um, if you wanted color behind the whole thing, right? Uh, just make sure that you uh, go ahead and, and grab a rectangle. Go ahead and you got me a little bit of white space here. So I'm gonna go here. Now notice that's gonna go to the front of the stack. I wanna drag that layer all the way down the tip to the back. So this is my uh, color. Let's go a little bit lighter color here. That's ugly. Maybe I'll choose 
So if you choose this one right here, uh, you get the color picker, and then you can go out and eye drop a color from the image if you want to. So maybe I'll eye drop. Um, orange. It's okay. Yuck. That's okay. Go ahead and deal with that. Um, so another thing you might want to do is throw a drop shadow on these pictures. So an easy way to do that is all you do is go to the empty part of the layer, double click, okay, and then you can choose drop shadow right here. So I'm going to click on it. Don't just click this little checkbox, click on it so you have control. So this is the drop shadow here, and I can control where I want that to go. I control the distance here, and I can control uh, the size that will sort of blur it out a little bit, and the spread. So usually you don't want a whole bunch of spread. Reduce the size a little bit. Go right in there. Now, if you want to copy that same exact drop shadow to another picture, all you have to do is hold the option key and take that little FX symbol and drag it down to those images. Option key, drag down. That would throw your drop shadow. Okay, the last thing that you might want to do is add text. You don't have to. This one has Welcome to Indiana, so I'm not going to add the text. But let's say you did a coffee shop or something like that, and you want to add the title. All you have to do is click on the text tool, the capital T. Come out here and click one time. Okay, type whatever you want. I'm going to caps lock. And uh, go command T, make that larger. Um, you have lots of different fonts you can choose from, colors you can choose from. You could throw a drop shadow on that. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions or you want to do something specific, go ahead and do it or let me know and I can help you figure out a way to do it. But basically, it is just a blank canvas for you to showcase your, uh, your pictures.